is a update on our crosswalk initiative that again we started uh, several years ago in partnership with APS and all the different uh, appropriations that we've made over the over the last few years on this and now we are making a lot of progress and interestingly just in time for school to restart so obviously our goal is really to be finished up by August right for the beginning of the school year but because kids are coming back we did want to provide a little bit of an update on this uh, because we have come a long way when it comes to this work now as a reminder <clears throat> APS and the city work together on crosswalks and traffic and pedestrian safety around schools so it's one of these collaborative one Albuquerque efforts that involves both APS and the city and from the city perspective most of this work is really done through our municipal development department and we actually have a division uh, that does traffic and parking and uh, our deputy director is going to speak about that in a little bit deputy director Paul Rogers now, we, uh, we also have some other individuals here that I'll introduce in just a minute, but I think a lot of them are speaking, so uh, we'll probably hold off for some of the introductions then. Um, let me mention, though, that basically, look, after the tragedy after Cleveland at Cleveland Middle School, uh, my administration got together and we said, we've got to look at this all over the city because we were concerned about it. The city had not done a comprehensive look with APS in many years, and so we did that. And folks might remember the study came out about six months later, and it prioritized several locations throughout the city with respect to school safety. And in fact, 59 elementary and middle schools were identified as needing improvements. And so there's a range of improvements based on the challenges. And so sometimes it's just repainting a crosswalk. In other situations, it's putting up these particular lights like you saw behind us, where we're giving uh, motor vehicles a very strong signal that says there are kids crossing the street. And so there's a whole spectrum of those that we'll kind of walk through. So out of those 59 and 49 improvements, there's again a range of you know heavy signaling all the way to just repainting, and those are matched with what the traffic engineers and the safety experts really came up with. And so in terms of where we're at right now, uh, we know that you know this particular corner coming out of LBJ is a really good example. One of our largest middle schools, 750 students, and also what the study showed is that the highest risk area isn't right in front of the school, you know, right in front of the parking lot. It's actually this intersection as all the kids who live close by who are walking to school as they're crossing. So again, that's why we really wanted to be thoughtful and match the solution to the problem. Uh, and this is one of four locations that have received these uh, rapid um, I, I forget the, the acronym is RRFB. I can't remember what that stands for, but these sort of high intensity uh, signals. Now there are 50 elementary schools, as I mentioned, middle schools that are gonna see upgrades uh, all the way through the fall of this year. And many of the larger projects have been completed. As I mentioned, some of them are $22,000. These lights are not cheap, uh, but they're well worth the investment. That's an example of the higher end of improvements. And again, on the lower end, it's uh, repainting and touching up the existing crosswalks. The people who keep our crosswalks safe for our children as uh, our uh, schools are going back into session. Right now, this is an Im important time across the city to ensure that our, our children are being kept safe. I just want to point out, as the mayor mentioned, we have LBJ right here, but we also have two other schools that are important, uh, Marie Hughes and Chamisa Elementary Schools. And I want to give credit where credit is due, um, Jason Fisher, who actually a couple of years ago had approached me about this particular crosswalk. And thanks to our work with uh, DMD and Pat Montoya and his group, um, the uh, transportation engineers, Melissa Lazoya, who uh, is never in the foreground. She's always in the background working to ensure, and Tim Brown also, who they're always working to ensure our, our um, areas are safe. So I wanna give them credit as well because this has really become a reality for this particular area. And this particular park, also Mariposa Park, we have a number of people that come here and they walk every day. And there's a lot of children. We also have our softball 
uh, fields right adjacent to this park. So we have a lot of extra activity in this area. And I think it's really great that we're here today to recognize not only the crosswalks, but the people who make our crosswalks safe, our crossing guards. So thank you, Mayor, for being in, our, in District 5 today. And thank you all for being here with us today. Thank you, Mayor. And um, today from APS, I'm joined by Brian Garcia, who's our principal support specialist for um, this uh, area of town. And if we didn't learn anything over um, the course of the year, we learned that we really can't do anything alone. And in our community, we have to work together more than we ever thought. And I think that this project is a great example of the community coming together um, with the school district and the city to support the safety of our children. Um, we are really thankful to this partnership with the city of Albuquerque and looking at all of our schools, especially our middle schools, and how we can make sure that we get our students to and from school in a safe manner. Uh, we're very grateful for this opportunity to visit all of the school sites and to prioritize um, the crosswalks that are outside of our school areas so we can encourage students to walk safely to school, um, to get home safely, and work together as a community to make sure that our students um, come first and are safe. So we want to thank everybody and thank you for this opportunity. Good afternoon. I'm Sar Sergeant Ryan Stone with the Metro Traffic Division Motor Unit. I just want to reiterate what everybody's saying here today. We need to remind Albuquerque drivers to slow down throughout the city and especially in school zones. We uh, Children have been in class for over a year now and I think a lot of us have become accustomed to not having the crossing zones illuminated so everybody's going to continue to speed through them and not be aware that they are now back in session and those crosswalks are going on. So the motor officers are out currently in different uh, school zones throughout the city and they are issuing traffic citations for all violations that they do see. So let's uh, slow down Albuquerque and let's watch out for our kids and watch out also for the crossing guards as they're doing their jobs. Thank you. You know, I think it's important to point out that this mission of safety that we all think is paramount is, is a result of communication and collaboration. And I think you, what you see here today is an example of that. Uh, no one aspect or cog in the machine is going to be able to address all of the issues. So I would like to reach out to the APS and APD and all of those folks that we deal with and thank them for being part of the effort to, to safely get our school children to school and back home every day. Um, I've got to also point out that uh, our crossing guards were thrilled to be able to get back to work. You know, they had had a couple false starts over the recent past and uh, they were itching to get back to work and, and this past Monday was that day and they were thrilled to be back to work and uh, you know, they just love providing for the community and the safety of the children and they're thrilled to be back at work. I also wanted to thank the crossing guard manager, the manager of our program, is Yvette Sierra. She works very hard and as you can imagine, we've dealt with a lot of changing circumstances due to COVID. So she's dealt with those and, and kept moving forward. And again, that primary goal of safety is that, that light that we're all chasing. Uh, I, I must add that in addition to Yvette, she's got some what we refer to as crossing guard leads. There are coordinators out in the field and they do an excellent job as well as the crossing guards themselves. Again, I, I can't stress enough my thanks to them for doing what they do every day in all types of weather as we can tell with today's wind. I also wanted to update you that uh, when we got the order that school was starting on Monday, we ensured that our training was updated and as part of that updated training was COVID specific training and issuing the crossing guards PPE. So in addition to the regular duties they have to fulfill, they are also uh, dealing with the best way they can COVID safe pack practices as well as utilization of PPE and any future changes that come along in that vein will adhere to. Yvette does a great job and one of her main jobs is 
remaining, as I stated earlier, that communication and collaboration is so important. Uh, I would like to thank the APS Police Department for liaising with our Crossing Guard Department and constantly keeping us updated on what's going on. I know that Yvette works closely with all of the principals at the individual schools around the city as well, which is no small task. We do provide protection at the crossing guards, at the crossing crosswalks for 75 different schools in the city of Albuquerque. So you can imagine, that's a lot of people to collaborate with to ensure that we have a, uh, a, a unified message and, and bringing that safety to the crosswalks. I would like to finish up today by uh, reiterating the sergeant's message and asking everybody, please, when you're in the proximity of a school, obey all signs, signals, and markings. Um, you know, you go into it with the right frame of mind if you treat it like your child is at that school. I think any one of us, if we go into it with that mindset, we're going to obey and react appropriately so that it's as safe an environment as it can be for everybody. Thank you.